Hello traders and welcome to the weekend edition. My name's Des Woodruff, your senior analyst and future mentor here at Grok Trade. This video is good through Sunday, September 25th, 2011. And all sorts of things have been happening this week. Matter of fact, stocks have seen their worst week since October of 2008. Oil falls to $80 per barrel on demand concerns. But check this out. Commodities hit a nine-month low. Gold falls $100. Man, we are in a world of hurt. Let's talk about this. Right before the major market dip, after the financial bubble popped in 2008, we saw commodities take a major hit in the markets. And commodities are taking a major hit in the markets. About three weeks ago, when the market started falling out of bed, I was saying that gold is toppy. Technicals are telling us to go short gold. And sure enough, gold has spiraled downward. Check this out. GLD, gold down 5.5%. More than that on silver, gold and silver taking a blood bath. On Friday, markets in bullish, banks showing some strength. However, the thing I want to share with you is crude oil down. It continues to drop along with the other commodities. Watch commodities very closely. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring in a chart early. I usually do it at the end of the video. I'm going to bring it in right now. Check this out. This is Finviz. One week, basic materials take a 12% haircut. Industrial goods a 10%. Financials down 9%. Not for the month, for the week. For the month, if we go down one, basic materials are down 11%. Financials down 9%. Three months. Financials and industrial goods at the very bottom at 21%. Basic materials on 18%. So, right before recession, what do you see take a hit? Commodities. Basic materials. What else do you see weakening? Financials. Financials at the very bottom. If you scroll this down, financials at the very bottom on six months. Go down further. Financials, the only one in significant red for the one year performance. So you have financials in the basement. You have commodities, basic materials taking a blood bath. And we also have economic news showing nothing but negative outlooks worldwide across the board. And here we are taking a look at the daily chart on the SPX. I'm actually going to go to the ES. This is the features on the S&P 500 because there's not as many lines. Kind of clean it up a little bit. But this is a daily chart. Big drop. Choppy, 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 choppy. Bear flag. Bear flag breaking down, however, for the day on Friday. We do have a hammer. And we did find some significant support. See this red line? Support. Support. We go over here. Major support. That's at 11.23. 11.23 and some change is the support area. Another support area is 11.11. So those two areas are huge. We need to find out if we're going to hold any, any support here. Nice volume on the hammer. However, MACD drops down below the zero, zero line. Histogram is going more bullish however so in bearish territory that is the coming together MACD and signal line right there if it curls up here we start heading up you should get a little bounce the question is can we get above that major trend line this big blue one maybe maybe not on the weekly check this out we come up here and get a, a huge head and shoulder reversal pattern on the weekly chart on the SP big drop boom 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 and then choppy, 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 choppy. It's a low base. But check this out. On the week, we drop, 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 drop. Close and below all major moving averages, including the 200-week moving average. We did close below that. A major support line is 11.29, 11.30 area. Big, big support. If we break that, we're in a lot of trouble. Look for this 
you know, 11,000 or 1100 area on the S&P. Big support area, we'll have to be watching that quite closely. But here's the bottom line. We're caught up in the moving averages. We were above it, we're caught up in them, and now we're starting to break below them. Bad news for the weekly. On the monthly, we're just in a big down leg. See this? Up leg, small down leg, big up leg, and a big down leg. We broke a major, you can look at this, trend line. See this trend line? Crash. A lot of bleeding taking place here. Bearish divergence on the stochastics. And with this banded oscillator, look at this big drop going straight down. So the only hope that we have here on the month is we ma we are making a higher low. Lower high, but a higher low. So if we do drop lower down here in this area, ooh, that's going to be a nasty. I mean, it could just be a blood bath. Let's go here to the NASDAQ. So here's the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, a lot of lines here, big drop, choppy, 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 choppy. This is where we're at. We're still within the confines of this bear trend or bear flag, if you will. If you don't know what a bear flag is, just go to chart school there at freeonlinetradingeducation.com. Read all about the bear flags. You'll see an example of one and um, and know about them because they're it's something that we're dealing with right now in the markets. On the weekly chart on the NASDAQ, check this out. Big chop, 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 bear pullback. A choppy one at this, but it's, it is a bear pullback. We are finding resistance at our more exotic. Let me show you this. It's our 67 simple moving average right here. Come up. We try to get above it, but now it's acting as resistance. And it just looks like we're poised to drop here. We have a lot of moving averages down here that could act as support, so we will be watching that pretty closely. But we have broke down out of the monthly. Lower high, higher low. But we have a major support, 2463. 2463, that is a major one to be watching on the monthly chart. Russell, small caps. Let's go here on the big chart first. Looks bad. Lower high. But check this out. We have a lower low on the monthly. We do not see that on any other indice but the Russells. These are small caps. These are leading indices where, the, where they can serve as a leading indicator, especially to the downside. So be watching this very closely. We're seeing relative weakness here. Stochastics going straight down at this moment. If you go here to the weekly, look at this. If I pull in a little I'm actually I'm gonna raise this just a hair. Look at this CCI. This is the commodity channel index. We're crossing down below this lower band and heading south. And let's look at this. We drop 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 drop. Look at this. The two hundred week moving average is acting as big time support right now. It's right there at the place. Will we break down below it? If so, this could be a nasty drop. So it's something we'll be watching for. We'll find support around 600. Yeah, you're hearing me say it. The Russell could be at 600 before you know it. And on the daily chart, big break of this big bear flag, trying to show a little bit of a reversal pattern here. Looks like about a bullish Rami or even a bullish piercing type pattern. But as a stalemate, we are sub zero on the MACD centered oscillator. And you have the two lines coming together right now. If we do get a crossover, we should come back up. Chances are we're going to see major resistance here. Now give us a chance for the bulls or the bears to come flooding into the markets. Now, I threw a lot at you here. You want to pay special attention to this. Share this with your friends. A lot of people are going to start hearing about Grok Trade. They're going to start hearing about free online trading education. We're talking with our analysts that are going to be coming in. We're getting ready to start marketing. And we have a brand new website. It's going to be released quite soon. And I'm guessing within a month or so. So keep your eyes open. We have a lot going on, a lot of exciting stuff. So share this with your friends so you're the first on board. Those that are first on board will be getting special treatment and offers that will be coming your way that will only be for those individuals that are coming in and hanging out with us at the very first in the very beginning of what it is that we're doing. A lot of momentum taking place here. And if you'd be so kind, there's a little like box right below you. A thumbs up. Click that if you'd be so kind. And for those on YouTube, leave a comment. We I read each and every one of them that come through. And you guys are great. I am a mentor and I'm also an analyst. 
for a major institution. I trade a portfolio for a major institution. I trade my own money. Been doing it for 13 years, and I significantly enjoy what I do. If you want me to mentor you, I'll. I will take you in under my wing and teach you all this. I'm doing a live class in Las Vegas at the Traders Expo. If you'd like to do a live class with me, it's three full days just before the Traders Expo kicks off. Sign up. We'd love to team up. If you'd rather do it from the comfort of your own home, live online to virtual connection, I'd be happy to do that too. Take care and very safe trading to each and every one of you. Remember, capital preservation comes well before making a profit in the markets.